12 in total and we have one of the winning women from last year's women's series 25. in Dita Hedman who went on to play at the Alexandra Palace in How December won the ball. can Dita dream again she takes on Kerry O'Connor in this first round tie and we've already seen a, a shock of sorts as Lisa Brosnan beat Laura Turner in the opening match here on the live stream and we're just looking through the 84. results from last year and Turner actually lost in the first round in the first three events last year Colin she needs to try and uh, 41. not think too much about that and maybe draw some encouragement from the fact that there is uh, more events for her to pull it back this time around yeah I think um I'd hang. I'd certainly hang around in the venue. Maybe go out onto one of the quieter boards and still keep the arm ticking over. But 121. Get back into the hotel, have a bit of dinner and wherever. Don't dwell on it, Chris. Basically, hit the reset button. Refocus again. 41. Refocus. Refocus. Well, Headman has won everything in women's darts apart from the one that she covets the most, uh, was excellent over that weekend in Barnsley last year. 100. Really spoiled the party. Everyone expected it to be Lisa and Fallon that made it through, but Hedman showed that she really was still the head lady 26. in ladies darts. And she'll certainly be up for it again, wanting to return to that Alexandra Palace stage and in front of fans because obviously there weren't any there when she played last year. The one thing about Dita Hedman is 59. when you compete against Dita, you've got to play well because she won't give an inch. Class player, like you say. 45. Over 200 ranked titles, I think, to her career. Two, maybe three, I think, big ones in the World Masters. I think she won the Masters twice. But like you say, that coveted Ladies World Championships has not been won yet. And that's not because she's not good enough, because she certainly is good enough. Yep. Yeah, it's not been for want of trying, has it? It just hasn't been her day of destiny. 84. Who Isn't knows what's, what's still to come in, in Ladies Darts. We're not quite sure what the situation is going to be. I know the WDF have done great work in trying to ensure that ladies darts continues to be supported and do have a world championship to play in obviously the impact of coronavirus has caused all sorts of problems for everyone but this is the opportunity to get to the world championship to get to the grand slam and headman will feel 65 good about this opening match he's taken on an opponent who hasn't really pulled up any trees in in the world of darts so far we did see at the women's series last year didn't make it past 63. the last 64 in any of the four events but you know what chris i take me out to someone like kerry o'connor because she's here she's having a go no she's school. obviously putting some hard work and she's She's not going to turn up here and think I'm here to make up numbers. She's playing one of the best lady players in the world. Although I think that first start might have been a little bit of a nervy one. 38. Well, good practice in case she uh, gets there. But yeah, just maybe slipped out of her hand that one. Headman looking at double nine. Well, doesn't want to be repeating this trick too often. With such a healthy lead, it might have been wise to have split, but she does get to double four in the end Angel. and nails it to take the lead. That's one thing in the world of darts, Six. Chris, that you have to... Uh, we know Dieter's has got the score and power, but the one thing you don't want to do is start mucking around on your doubles because that starts plants a seed in your head. You think, oh, I'm scoring well, why am I not finishing? When you start thinking that, all of a sudden you start trying so hard on those doubles that you'll miss even more. But she cleaned it up. 120. She had plenty, plenty enough time. And that goes back to that we know she's got the score in power. She gave herself ample time to have extra darts at the double.
been a formidable force over the years in ladies' darts, in darts in general. 100. Because Dita, I remember at the UK Open a few years ago, she, at the time then, I suppose it was shock. She beat a couple 60. of players up in Bolton. But she's just a darts player, like like all the other ladies. They're a darts player, and there's no reason why they can not only compete but can beat anybody on their day. Yeah, won in Bolton, but couldn't beat Bolton at the World Championship when she met the X Factor, Andy Bolton. 95. She did take a set off him, however. It was a, a tough draw for, for Dieter. We didn't see... 83. Uh, winning woman this time around. Lisa Ashton took two sets off, off Adam Hunt. But having seen... Makuru Suzuki comes so close the previous year and then Fallon Sherrick go and get the job done not once but twice. Surely that boosts the confidence of every woman darts player. This is a great leg of darts here from Dita Hebben, Chris. After 12 darts, she's left herself 50 to try and get a 2 0 lead. Well, 18. Or 10. And now tops. Game shot. And again, she's there. Last start in hand. And she really is stamping her authority on this match. Uh, at what she hopes will be the halfway stage of the match. And we did see Lloydy last year, that golfing class between the kind of elite in women's darts and the the rest of the field and I think we're already starting to see that today with some dominant victories already we've seen Lisa Ashton win 4-0 uh, Fallon Sherrick 43. won 4-1 in the end Lorraine wins Stanley a 4-0 winner against Tracy North who is a, certainly one of the best of the rest for what we witnessed last year Maria O'Brien a 4-0 winner as well so some of the bigger names definitely 60 Dominant in their early performances. Makuru Suzuki, I just mentioned, is 3 0 up in her match against Geraldine Johnson as well. 41. Everyone's sending out a marker. Mm. I'm here, I'm in form, I'm ready to play. And that's what it's all about. It certainly is. And, you know, at some point, if that carries on, then they're going to run into each other, aren't they? And that's when we really do get down to business. One hundred. I have to say, Dita's is looking very sharp in this match. No, she's she's sticking in another good 60. leg here. Yeah, the first leg. I think it was over twenty darts, but since then, Hedman has really upped her game. She's going into this leg, averaging 100. just under 80. She'll have taken her average above that at this stage. Unlucky there, but she's got plenty of time in hand after 15 darts, sitting on double eight. Twenty-four. So for three nil. I might have to come south here. Game shot. And does to extend that lead even further and to move within a leg of setting up that second round tie 43. against Lisa Brosnan. I think he's putting in quite a solid display here and I think, um, I think Paul Kerry's getting a little bit despondent now. And that comes with when you're playing someone who has been a dominant force in the world of darts. 100. 
and they get a three nil lead on you, you know, you start thinking to yourself, what have I got to do to try and not only win a leg, but try and get through this match? 100. But that's what it's all about, mate. That's why they're all here. It is rare to see a deficit like this turned around, but you know, strange things have happened in games of darts. I'm sure you've been involved in a few yourself, Colin. Of course, we saw, we mentioned Fallon Cherry. Look what happened in that semi-final against Dimitri Vandenberg, where Fallon 60. had to produce the greatest of great escapes. Yes, he certainly did. And the only way you can do that, Murphy, is by believing in yourself. You know, keep keep you, keeping your head and just keep going at it. And she did. She just kept attacking Dimitri. And in the end, he was the one that buckled. And she said, thank you very much. Up she stepped and won the match. The irony of Colin Lloyd talking well about done. keeping your head before embarking on a comeback has not been lost on me. Didn't your one of your greatest comebacks come off the back of you actually assaulting the dartboard, Colin? Anyway, back to this match. <laughs> 100. Joe, so I have to say, Murph, the scoring phase in this match, you know, the first leg was a little bit of an opener, but obviously. Um, but ever since then, she's, she's down on a finish after 12, 12 darts. And that's, that's good going and also puts a lot of pressure on your opponent. Can she sign off in style? She can't now after that first one. And I think she's a little bit disappointed, we can see, from a reaction there. She wanted just to give the viewers at home something to smile about. 75. Nine scored. This is nice. It's not a nice learning curve, but it's a learning curve for Kerry O'Connor. You know, she's got to walk away from this match, keep her keep her head up and go back and refresh herself for the next phase Same of it. Shot. Dita Hedman right. takes out 52 on tops for a very comfortable 4-0 lead, 4-0 win. The Hedman through, Brosnan through. We've seen Ashton and Sherrick and the like. Win Stanley as well go through.